So, hey, hey, Rap Squad. Welcome, welcome back. Okay nga ba ang mga bagong base products from EC? So, ang tawag sa collection na to is Skin of the Future and like I said earlier, mainly contains of base products. At kadalasan guys, pag nag-release ng mga base products or base collection ng mga brands, puro foundation lang. Pero si EC, yes, meron silang foundation pero meron ding color corrector, concealer, powder, pero walang primer. Okay, but that's okay para makita talaga natin how they will perform on our skin. Anyway, unahin natin si Color Corrector. This one retails 349 pesos. I got the shade Light Peach and it comes in a squeeze tube like this. Ito yung itsura ng packaging sa malapitan. Wala masyadong arte. But I like it kasi pagdating sa mga squeeze tubes, madali mong masimot lahat ng produkto. Walang masasayang. Okay, so subukan na natin siya. First impression, it's not a cream. It's actually liquid, very watery siya. Yes, na-contradict niya most of the darkness sa aking chin at sa aking under eyes. Pero hindi niya nagawang gawing less visible itong aking parang ugat dito sa ilalim ng aking mata. But what I really like about this is yung kanyang finish. Oh my gosh! Hindi siya malagkit, hindi siya mabigat. Parang nagdampi lang ako ng tubig sa aking mukha. Moving on to their foundation, ang tawag nila dito ay Active Foundation, 699 pesos with 30 ml of the product. I got the shade NL 2.5. So kung kanina pinakita ko yung packaging ni Color Corrector, na mukhang cheap pero efficient naman. Pagdating sa foundation, ang dami nilang budget. Oh my gosh, this looks and feels so luxurious and it comes with a pump. Mm, may budget talaga. I will just distribute some of the product on the side of my face using a foundation brush. Then I'm blending it with a damp sponge. Ayan, isang side lang muna para makita natin yung difference. Right away, ang napapansin ko is sobrang bilis niyang i-blend. Grabe. Wala pa yatang 20 seconds na blend ko na siya ng maayos at grabe ang shade match. Now, pagdating sa coverage, uh, meron naman, but I have to say, it's gearing more on light coverage. Kasi kitang-kita ko pa rin talaga itong vein or nerve, basta yung ugat sa aking under eye. But in fairness, once again, kagaya nung kanilang color correct, this feels very light. Now, pagdating sa finish ng foundation na to, as you can see, it's very skin-like. Meron pa rin radiance or parang glow. I think it's also very forgiving pagdating sa pores. Meaning, hindi niya na-emphasize yung itsura kahit may enlarged pores ka na meron ako sa aking nose. It looks flawless. Now, ito na. Meron silang tinatawag na True Flex Skin Balm. It's basically a balm type of product na pwede natin gamitin in a lot of ways daw. Ayan, pwede siyang foundation, pwede siyang concealer. This one, si Pond, gagamitin ko for concealing. At ito namang si Brule, gagamitin ko for cream contour. Ang presyo pala niya ay 699. Meron ka ng 18 grams of the product at parang kutsara ni Barbie. Lagyan ko na rin si chin and si forehead. Sabi ko na nga ba yun, mas may coverage na siya as compared to the foundation. As you can see, hindi na masyadong kita yung aking vein dito nga sa aking under eye. Na kanina ko pa problema, my gosh. Yeah, this texture is super different. Hindi siya basta-basta cream, hindi siya mousse. Na initially natatakot ako kasi baka uh, magmukhang cakey or magpachi-pachi siya. But actually, ang ganda ng pagkakalapat niya on top of the funda. At ito pa, very interesting kasi si foundation kanina, sabi ko nga, very skin-like yung finish. Meron siyang radiant or shine, eto mat na mat yung kanyang finish. Which is, I like. I have no problem about that at all. Especially, if ilalagay natin siya sa under eye, mas lalong hindi halata yung fine lines and large pores, mga texture ng balat. So, sabi ko nga kanina, we have two shades for this. Yung ginamit natin kanina si Fawn. Ito naman si Brulee, gamitin natin pang cream contour. So, I guess, ididip ko na lang itong aking contour brush. Kasi ako lang naman gagamit. Huwag na huwag nyo itong gagawin if makeup artist kayo. And para hindi makontaminate. Gulat ako. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, for me, this is one of the best products if ever gagamitin mo siya pang contour or bronzer. Because look at that. Ang ganda ng pagkakadiffuse niya. Talagang binigyan niya ako ng gutom na mukha. 
Ako kasi hindi ako naniniwala sa mga bronzer na may shimmer. I think it distracts from the highlight and the illusion of a slimmer face na gusto mong gawin. Kaya the best talaga na matte yung finish niya. Oh my gosh. Okay, meron din pala silang True Flex Adjusters. At ito, kadalasan ginagamit ng mga makeup artist para i-adjust nga yung base products like foundation. If ever gusto mo siyang mas magkaroon ng yellow undertone, you can use this yellow. Kung gusto mong mas pumuti yung shade, you can use white. Kung gusto mong mas maging pink, you can use the pink. Pero I have an idea. What if gawin natin tong blush? Let's see how it sets on everything. Mapupunta to sa everyday makeup kit ko at gagamitin ko siyang blush because look at that. Finally, for the powder, meron silang dalawang classification, si loose powder at pressed powder. Dito muna tayo kay loose powder, 499 pesos ang presyo. And I got the translucent shade, or shade ba yun? Ah, basta translucent finish. Packaging looks like this, very cohesive sa other products. It comes with a puff. And, ano to? Takit? Ah, oh, takit nga siya. <laughs> At ito na yung product sa ilalim. Pag sinabi mong translucent, dapat wala siyang coverage, dapat wala siyang kulay, dapat hindi niya matatakpan yung blush and contour na ginawa mo sa ilalim. Ang gagawin lang niya dapat ay iset lahat ng makeup mo, make it less sticky. At kaya, yeah, yun nga talaga yung nagawa niya. Okay. Lastly, ito si True Flex Perfecting Powder or ito nga yung pressed powder nila. This one is in the shade Fair or Light. At nagtataka ko kasi ang presyo nito 499 with 8 grams of the product but it doesn't come with any sponge or any applicator. But they provided me with a small brush so I guess ito na lang gamitin natin. Okay, let's try it. Mmm! Unang napansin ko, meron siyang perfume. So yeah, take note about that if sensitive yung skin nyo sa mga scent. Mm. Oh wow! Ang lakas niyang makablur sa mga texture sa skin. Like kanina, kitang kita ko pa rin. I mean, medyo halata pa rin yung enlarged pores ko. Pero when I pat this powder, parang, para kong napastoon siya. This is so nice! Wow! And I'm guessing pwede rin siya or maganda rin siya pang retouch. Kasi syempre hindi naman forever masikip yung ating mga pores throughout the day, lalo na sa init. Feeling ko kapag nag-retouch ka using this powder, magiging masikip ulit sila. Oh my gosh, I'm impressed. Okay guys, I will just finish the rest of my makeup and I will be back. Okay guys, so here is my makeup look. Take note na hindi na ako naglagay ng powder blush and powder contour kasi kadalasan kapag ka naglalagay ako ng cream contour and cream blush, pinapatungan ko pa sila ng powder equivalents nila but for now, hindi. Para makita nga natin yung performances and longevity and everything ng mga products na ito. So time right now is 10.18 in the morning. I will just continue to live my day and I will update you later sa mga pagbabagong magaganap. Okay guys, so ako yung nagbabalik at ang ating oras ay 6.07 in the evening. So more or less, 8 hours ko nang suot itong mga makeup and base products from AC. Yeah. I am dewy. Now, there's a reason kung bakit sinabi kong dewy at hindi oily o hulas. Kasi, even though mas shiny na ako as compared kanina, but not the ugly kind of shine. Feeling ko nga kaya ko pang lumabas or umaura. And yes, lahat ng aspeto ng mga ginamit natin today ay nakikita ko pa rin sa aking mukha. Although, I have to say, now when we applied si True Flex Perfecting Powder kanina, so may kaya pa ating mga pores at nagbukasan na nga siya as expected ngayon. But let's see, tignan natin ko maganda o pwede siya pang retouch and honey. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Instantly na-blur agad yung mga pores ko. What? This one is definitely my favorite and will go sa kahit anong bag na gagamitin ko. Ito na yung dadalhin kong pang retouch. Okay. Pinaka downside or hindi ko nagustuhan na okay din naman ay si Active Color Corrector. Feeling ko mas marami pang color corrector in the market na mas mura at saka mas maganda yung effect. But overall, 
amazing collection from EC. So there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If meron pa kayong mga requests or makeup collections na gusto nyo, gawan ko ng review, gawan ko ng feedback, please do comment down below. Follow me also on my other social media sites sa Instagram ako si Raph underscore Wane. Sa TikTok naman ako si About Raph. It's a wrap and I will see you guys again soon. Bye guys! Cameras are fresh and while